Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday. We're back with another free recipe that's whole food plant-based, SOS free, and easy. Easy is the word that I love to use nowadays. Being six months pregnant, I'm all about how quick and easy I can whip together something as our life starts to get busier and busier. And also this is very comforting. This is our creamy wild rice soup. Perfect for this month where weather is still not the best yet on the way to spring and we just love it. So this recipe came out over a year ago in our private membership and everyone had loved it. We've made it a ton since then and I'm just so excited and coming up in just a couple days our new February recipes come out in the membership. I'll post some pictures on the screen now. They're all whole food plant based SOS free. The membership includes our cooking class, as well as a bunch of other good things, and it's only $10 to join, and you get access four months total. So it's a lot of recipes when you join, a lot of classes to watch, all for really great value, only $10. So if you want to help support what we do, I will have that linked below. You don't want to wait a year to get these recipes. Um, like I said, this, these guys have had this one for a long time and probably have been making it a bunch since. So all you need is a big pot. We're gonna make our soup. It's really like a dump soup, which I love. And all of the measurements and everything are linked down below and on our website with a free printable PDF or Microsoft document. So however you wanna save it, it's there for you to print out and have. We also include grams. So head down below to check that out. Uh, we are gonna get started. So we need our vegetable broth and our plant milk to be in here for our liquid. So we have four cups of a SOS free vegetable broth that I have here. We're just gonna pour it inside our pot really easy. We have two cups of a plant milk, unsweetened, uns you know, no salt, SOS free as well. You can use any plant milk that you'd like. This is gonna help make it nice and creamy. Love how easy this is, you guys are gonna see. And then up next, I have some chopped celery. So I have four stalks of celery that I've chopped up pretty small. I'm gonna add that right in. And then I also have half of a red onion that I've diced. And I love this, around a medium size is great. We're gonna put that in there as well. And then really the star of this show is the rice. So in here I have three-fourths cups of uncooked rice. Now we really love, um, there's a specific brand that Dr. Furman recommended that we generally buy majority of the time when we have rice. So I will link that as well and they are arsenic free. So if that is something of concern like it is to us, um, I will link all that information down below for you guys as well. Um, but you're gonna add three-fourths cups of a wild rice blend, uncooked. And that's it for the first part. So we're gonna cook this pretty much until the wild rice um, really starts to split and becomes tender. And usually this takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So I like to bring it up to a simmer, cover it with a lid, stir occasionally, and whenever you see that wild rice split, that's how you know it's done. It's gonna start to get a little bit thicker as well. And then we're gonna add some finishings as well. We have um, some other ingredients here that we're gonna add at the very end. Uh, for the seasoning for this, we have, and I'm gonna add that in now, I have ground thyme, ground sage, ground rosemary, and black pepper. All the measurements are on in down below and on our website. We're gonna give that a nice toss. And then I'm gonna let this come up to a simmer, cover with a lid, around 30 minutes, I'm gonna check on this periodically. Around 30 minutes once the rice is cooked, we can go ahead and add some last minute finishers that I like to say to make this a complete meal and really make this nice and quick, nice and quick and filling and delicious and we just adore this. So I hope you guys will give this a try. So I will see you guys when this is all cooked down and ready to go for the next step. After the wild rice has split, you know it's done. It smells so good, very hearty and delicious. But what I wanna do now is I wanna add a little bit more 
of a few finishing items. I like to add um, one third cup of an oat flour and this is gonna help thicken it even more. So if you like a very thick soup, which I think it adds to the creaminess and just the overall really comforting part of this meal, we like to add, again, one third cup of oat flour. Now that is gonna clump, but you just wanna keep mixing until you get all the clumps out. So it's a little labor of love, but eventually all the clumps dispersed, just keep, keep stirring it in. I also have two teaspoons of white miso paste. Um, so we add a little bit of this for our salt substitute. We can do that now as well. And then lastly, what I'm gonna add is a 15 ounce can of white beans that I've rinsed and drained. This is gonna be our protein source, a really filling amount too to go with the rice and we just adore this recipe. So I'm gonna stir all the clumps in and lastly I'm gonna add our 15 ounce can of white beans and it just thickens up so beautifully. Smells so good. Oh my gosh, so excited for dinner tonight. And it makes for a great meal that's quick, simple, easy, and also, you know, the whole family can really enjoy it. It's just a great hearty meal for this time of year. It freezes great, so if you do wanna do some batch cooking or you wanna freeze it, which I will be doing lots of freezer meals as we prep for a birth in the spring, um, this is definitely one that we will have made ahead of time, frozen, ready to go. So again, just take a couple moments. You see some clumps of the flour and you really just wanna keep stirring until they're all dissolved and then you can add your white beans. But I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope you guys will make it. Leave us a comment if you have. If you haven't checked out our private membership, please do so. We put out new recipes every month, including our classes over there. And it's such a great time, and that way you guys get everything up to date with us. It's only $10, and you don't have to wait. Like I said, they, these guys got this last January. And, uh, you know... You want to get all the recipes right when they come out because they're so good. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Subscribe if not. Leave us a comment. I will see you guys next Sunday for the next one. But definitely a must make. Bye guys.